President Anhaya. Professor Römmele. Members of faculty and administration. EMPA team. Frau Dr. Stelzenmuller. Dear guests. New students. Members, members of, of the graduating, graduating class, class of 2017. <laughs> We would not be here without you. Anton and I probably would not have met for the first time in hallway an hour ago if you had not selected us as your student speakers for this event. <laughs> and our choices have generally been appropriate. We took airplanes, trains, cars, or the S-Bahn to get here on so many Thursday mornings. And whether we boarded a plane in New York City or an S-Bahn in Pankow, we chose to spend that time of the journey on the last 400 pages of accounting literature. <laughs> In sun, rain, or snow, we chose to skip the cafeteria and get the fancy Einstein coffee on Friedrichstrasse. And although they could never show it, professors deep down in their hearts could not blame us when we came to class five minutes late carrying that paper cup with the Einstein logo. And we chose to hit that send button on every due date at 11.59 p.m. in our respective time zones to hand in the assignment or simply to explain to the EMPA team that a civil war had just erupted in our home country, we had been nominated to negotiate a ceasefire, and that countless lives could be saved if only the due date for Professor Enderlein's assignment could be moved for another week. And we chose to spend our time here at the Hertie School, some of us for an intense year in Berlin, and some of us over two years. Time away from our busy jobs, but also time away from our families and friends. So today is the day to not only congratulate ourselves, but also to say thank you to our partners and our families who were there for us when we could not be with them. And now, the EMPA graduating class of 2017 has chosen us to speak for itself. And again, that is a smart choice, because Ivana and I don't know each other. <laughs> I've taken all my courses in the first year before moving to the US, and Ivana only arrived here last year as a full-time student. Our judgments were arrived at independently. So when we spoke on the phone to prepare this speech, and we both agreed that Berkan dresses rather well, that probably means something. And there's some, something else we agreed upon, how this EMPA class is the true showcase of what Herti has to offer. Sure, you can have 100 of MPP students in a room, and every single one of them uh, thinks that he or she will become Secretary General of the United Nations by 2025. But really, and no disrespect, we love our MPP brethren dearly. They've just graduated from college and have a few internships under their belt. In this room, we have four students wearing the Hertie scarf who are currently working for the United Nations. They're not Secretary Generals yet, but who knows what happens after graduation. There are EMPA students here working in critical positions for their national governments. There are NGO leaders among us who are pushing those governments to do the right thing. And then last, but not least, there are our friends from Deutsche Bahn who are just trying to build. <laughs> <laughs> you never get to finish one of these Deutsche Bahn jokes. I want to try anyways. <laughs> our friends from Deutsche Bahn who are just trying to build the world's best tunnels. And over the two last years, this diverse group of people came together here at the Hertie School. And I mean come together to learn from great professors, but also to learn from each other's experiences. And one of the highlights, our trips to London or Brussels. Where did you go, Anton? I was part of the London group <laughs> last year. This was just a few weeks ahead of the referendum, and in every ministry that we visited, senior staff was telling us how they didn't need a plan for Brexit because it wasn't going to happen. No way, 100%. I traveled to London this May, and guess what? We met with representatives of the department for leaving the EU. 
It felt so uncomfortable when I presented myself as part of Serbia's negotiating team for EU accession talks. <laughs> I mean, uncomfortable for them. Still, we realized one thing. Ethics in senior service was remarkable. Regardless of their personal views, they, kept, they keep implementing the state policies firmly. And then there was the refugee crisis in Europe. And every non-German speaker in our class can now recite the famous Wir schaffen das. Although we weren't quite sure at the time whether Professor Ischinger really believed it. <laughs> and then, there was Trump. And just after the election, we had a class on, um, I don't remember. And uh, I don't remember because we spent the whole day talking about Trump. And this unique group of people coming from different places and with different aspirations for the future tried to make sense of it all. And if Anna hadn't taught us to drink mate with Uruguayan serenity, we may not have made it through the chaos. But you weren't here for that. How is Washington these days? Well, it's everything the fake media says it is. No, in all seriousness, here at Herty, we learn all the tools, how to collect revenues, how to spend it wisely, how to nudge, how to draft policies. But did the inventors of governance foresee the end of the Western consensus or of liberal democracy, as Constanza has just alluded to? the end of reason and politics? What if my government asks me to use all my hurty skill to build the tallest and most beautiful wall? Or does my hurty degree now mean that I'm a member of the deep state? I'm not sure. I remember two years ago when we joined this group of people, I was 100% certain that we would never be building walls between the two of us. Now, in 2017, I think there are a couple of walls or fences or whatever between Belgrade and Berlin. Um, what I know for sure is I'm never going to build a wall between Dominica and myself. If anything, our time at Herty has taught us that it is in our hands, as mid-career and experienced employees in the public, private, and non-profit sector, to shape our future as a global community and the community we have found here as a class, but also with faculty, administration, and guest speakers from all walks of life, suggests to us that this is possible. For the new students here, you won't get that with an MBA. For closing remarks, I want to quote one of our fellow students who's graduating with us today, uh, Juan, um, who said, and I quote, I am happy to have had the opportunity to learn at Herty. As a foreigner, I can, I can say it represents the good things of Germany and its people, whom I respect and admire. I shall never forget my time here." End of quote. Ivana, shall these lessons and friendship remain with us? Wir schaffen das. Thank you. Before we leave the stage, apart from the thanks to families, friends, and professors, well, at least those who extended due dates, um, there are three people in this room, or two actually, because one of them is absent, I believe, uh, who deserve a special thank you from us. Haneli, Juliane, and Robert, for the blood, sweat, and tears, a small token of our appreciation. <laughs>